Thank you Grub Gang, for your continued financial support for this channel, and also for supporting the entire Note Again family, it is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notification. What are you doing back there? Get a life, I gave you food earlier. Stop it. Chantel, we missed you. Please tell me you're kidding. In the last week, she has done nothing but live streams every day, and sometimes multiple times per day. We are obviously missing some days of live streaming that she has taken down, due to them being in violation of YouTube's terms of service. Nonetheless, you have had as much as 30 hours and 56 minutes of her live streaming. So to say we have missed you, I think it's a bit of a stretch. I've been worried. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Chantel has assured you all that when it comes to the drugs, she knows what she's doing. Is everything okay? Hey, it looks clean back there. I bet if you open the closet door, or look under the bed, you'll find where it all went. No Nashville chicken bees in. No open drawers? Is this real life? No Nashville chicken bees in. Too late. Got some on the way. I'm okay. Feeling very slow motion right now. Could you be in slow motion mode? because of the amount of cannabis you've been doing lately. Maybe what you really need is a quick pick-me-up, instead of a Nashville chicken sandwich. Your room is clean? Wipes eyes, is the bedroom clean? No, my entire room is not clean, but I started in on it. So I gotta finish it. Hexy! Hey foodie beauty, how were the shrooms? Wow, didn't even notice that the room was straightened out. I thought you guys cared about Chantel's health, and her condition, and addictions. I guess not, I guess now the topic of the day it's going to be, how were the shrooms? You'll notice a long dead air pause, and that deer caught in the headlight look stare from our girl. I guess she's trying to figure out how to answer that. Are you high? I would have almost said this person cared, but then I saw the emoji. So this one gets a laugh when Chantel is high. You would think by watching Chantel's videos, and looking at the chat, that there are food enablers, drug enablers, and then there are enablers that will push her in a certain direction to get a laugh out of it. Am I high? <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, I haven't left my room. How's it working out for you? I just... Yeah. Been eating, just chilling in my room, even eating in here. Um, One would think chilling would be like taking a nap, or playing video games, or kicking back reading a book. What you've done is locked yourself away in your room for no real reason. Slowly making my way down my list. <clears throat> I'm okay. I just, I seem very, I'm sedated. <laughs> I want to be sedated. From the looks of it, I wouldn't say you're sedated. I'd say you're baked. I could be wrong. What do you guys think? Do you think she's baked? Did someone call the cops on you? I don't have first-hand knowledge of the cops being called but I can tell you from a Facebook group dedicated to Chantel, that someone in Ottawa, is letting others know of the danger she imposes, should they encounter her. The private group on Facebook is called, The Burn Book, Foodie Beauty Edition. I'll put a link down in the description below, in case anyone is interested in checking out this group. Did you guys see Alex's Shook's recent video? He read a post someone made about FB, a YouTuber in Ottawa, and basically gave a warning to everyone in Ottawa. I sincerely hope that post goes viral, and that perhaps the Ottawa police actually take action against her, or that YouTube steps up, and protects themselves from her. Let's see her channel crumble. I will read the PSA for you guys, however you will notice that there are some blotted out words, and we all know what they stand for, because Chantel has used those words herself. 
The individual that posted this on Facebook blotted them out to not violate Facebook terms of service. However, since YouTube doesn't seem to be bothered by her doing these illicit drugs on video, they shouldn't have a problem with me saying what they are. One more thing, please do not ask me if I know who posted this PSA. Or who posted it on the Facebook group. Or to send you an invite to the group. The clips that I am using were sent to me by a subscriber. Public service announcement titled, Has anyone encountered the Ottawa YouTuber, and livestreamer Foodie Beauty? She has around 100k subs, and is Ottawa-based. Her channel is a total mess. It consists of her doing drugs including cocaine and meth, and claiming magic mushrooms are legal in Ottawa, while she eats them live, taking edibles, and driving high throughout the city. Has anyone heard of her, or seen her out in public? She also does regular mukbangs of Ottawa restaurants, such as House of Georgie. Looks like Chantelle's notoriety is reaching new levels. I'm not even sure if she is aware of what's going on, or what's being said off YouTube, or if she does, she just doesn't care anymore, and that's why she's always in a constant baked state of mind. Who was at your door the other night? I don't think it was the cops, I think it was Pete's pounding on the door, as a way to help her end the stream. If he did do that, your guess is as good as mine as to why. Maybe she needed a little pick-me-up. What's in the cops? I just figure, you know what? Now I've just been in the mood to just like stay in and just like take care of my house and... You want to stay in and take care of your house? I would think you'd want to take care of your health. Really though you wouldn't be able to do either of those because of your recent activities. I get a beast today. I'm just a mess. Now that I need to, you know. <coughs> uh, edibles and really potent weed, Feral. And my antidepressant, that's it. I seem out of it. I'm very baked and I've been baked for like two days straight. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be completely off with everything. <laughs> I don't know. This is how I feel. Is it time to smoke a blunt? Yeah, it is. Beauty bake. Should I take some shrooms? What do you guys think? No, no shrooms? <laughs> what? They don't make me trip out. Shrooms? Oh, yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. This will do nothing. Oh, okay, give me a minute. Oh boy. Oh, God, let's go. <laughs> this is microdosing. I probably won't even feel anything. Oh my God. Don't be concerned for me. I know what I'm doing. Jeez, people live a little. I can tell you that was no microdose that you just took. You ate a cap and a stem. I grew up in the mid 60s and 70s and had experienced magic mushrooms. What you just ate could have been divvied out to ten people easily. You are far from being an expert with narcotics, you have no clue what the hell you are doing. What you just ate, would be considered a macro dose, and would cause that psychedelic feeling or hallucinations. So for how much you ate, and you didn't end up freaking out or hallucinate, I would say Dom hooked you up with some fancy dried mushrooms from the deli section of Farm Boy. I think you got duped into believing you were buying magic mushrooms, and because of that, you think you feel a sensation, when in fact there's nothing there to feel, but the blunt you have been smoking. I would like to take a moment here to thank my good friend, Just Sayin for providing me with a copy of Chantel's deleted mushroom video. For those of you that may be new to watching reaction channels, I will put a link in the description to Just Sayin's channel. 
I encourage you to go over and check it out, watch some of her reactions, and then subscribe, and click that bell so you get notifications when she puts out a new video. What's wrong? Was it family at the door? Hope they made you feel better. I never would have thought about her family, due to the way she has treated them in the past, which we are well aware of, I can't believe they don't watch any of her videos, so with that being said, maybe they're getting a little tired of the BS, and are trying to actually do an intervention. I don't know if that's true or not, but it would be nice if they did, and were able to succeed. <clears throat> Hi Raquel, nothing's wrong Jamie, I'm just low energy right now, you guys are probably not used to that lately. You are kidding right, that's all we've seen in the last couple of weeks. You've been baked out of your mind, and then munching out, while falling asleep at the same time. It's the same shit, different day. How about a sober driving and dine, or a time warp, or a creepy pasta? That would be something we're not used to seeing for a while. Oh my god, are you okay? I was worried. For the love of god, how can you be worried? In the last seven days she has been live for thirty plus hours. That's not even counting the live streams she did and then took down. So you have you always been here, or always had a chance to see what she's been doing, and how she's been. Are you drunk? Laugh my fucking ass off. Here's another fine example of an enabler, that gets off on her possibly being drunk. And to think, we are all called haters. Go figure. No, I'm not drunk. Savage! <clears throat> I just wanted to take a day. I was stayed in my room the whole night, like the whole, whole day, whole night. And I was like, should I go live? And then I was like, uh... <clears throat> I really, really, really kind of want to, like, um... I don't know. I want to make, like, a schedule, because I've been doing a lot of, uh... <clears throat> oh, actually... I haven't been eating the healthiest, so I need... No shit. Can you even recall the last time you truly ate a healthy meal, and a salad when you order Greek does not make healthy, nor does eating vegan acne in a while? To get back on that. So I really want to do some videos where, you know, I've been showing you guys a lot of bees in. Yeah, I told you I bees hard. I told you I bees hard. So I want to show you guys some healthier behaviors too. How can you show a healthy behavior when you have never had one? A 15 minute walk in the park, and then on the road back home ordering takeout. Does not make a healthy behavior. You attempt at having one, and end up falling back into gorging yourself on junk food, and fast food. Depression follows shortly after that, which leads to the heavy dosing of the edibles. For you to actually develop any kind of healthy behavior, you're going to need to leave the house, and physically sit in front of a therapist, and then continue to go back to that therapist. No, the mushrooms, like, how you saw me was like the peak. I didn't, it didn't make me too, too bad, but they did work, <laughs> so. What did you take tonight? Edibles? I hecking love shrooming. Maybe you and Chantel should start a Facebook group. Nope, I haven't taken any edibles today. I smoked a little bit, and that's about it. Can you address the rumor with the mushroom video, where you go off camera to sniff? Or blow your nose? Not accusing, but it is like everywhere, people said you used when you did that. But, no, I'm not addressing... Sam, I'm not addressing any of those stupid go off camera to... to sniff? Excuse me? I won't be addressing things that aren't true. So if you don't hear me address it, it's probably not true. How about that? Let's just do that way. That's a lie, Sam. There was no sniff. And you know this for a fact? Knowing she has lied to you before, you still want to stand by your comment? Ugh, the rumors are so dumb. So you blindly believe, that when she's gone off camera for any length of time, and left you all hanging, that she's being a good girl. We all wanna see you get it together, girl. Make those videos and stick to your schedule. I too would like to see her get her shit together, and make those videos and follow a schedule. However, we know she's incapable of committing to anything that could benefit her. She does however commit to food, and now drugs. I do need to do a schedule because, um, 
I've just been like wasting away in my room. Okay, so Chantel, no sniffling and do not blow your nose. Rumors. What a joke. Only Chantel's next ER visit video will tell us all if it's a joke. But then again, I don't even know if you can trust her to be honest. Well, you never should have trusted me. I'm on drugs. <laughs> Being total, like, just like smoking. What I've been watching uh, nonstop Coffee House Crime. It's a YouTube channel. It is amazing. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. But if you like true crime, you'll like that one. It reminds me of like true crime and like top fives or I don't know. Yeah. I know, I know, people are worried about me, but I need to make a schedule, so I'll let you guys know what it is when I have it. I need to work on that because I was doing, I signed up for the, um, yeah. last night I signed up for the breaking free, the, um, online counseling kind of like program. Schedules and keeping busy help with recovery. It helped me to keep my mind busy and not be bored. Yeah, so it was like, does this like diagram for you? And it goes through like different lessons um, and things that um, you can. I just another face. Yeah, Angie. Um, like an action plan, like things you can do to help change it. <clears throat> If you ever need to talk Chantel, I'm always here. I'm not a recovery specialist, but of people in my life who I have helped thought it. Even if you just need an ear, I've got you. Thanks, Donna. Get a professional's help too. Please, don't go it alone. She is taking an online course to help her, that is as much professional help as she wants. What she needs, is to physically sit in front of a therapist. However, I have my doubts that will ever happen, because we all know how she feels about therapy, and therapist. Yeah, definitely it's not something... It's not something I want to do alone. Like, sometimes I feel like just being alone and not talking to anybody. I'm an attention whore. That comment about sometimes just wanting to be alone, and not talk to anybody, is where the rubber meets the road. She knows as an attention whore, that's the furthest thing from the truth. That comment was said to keep instilling into her members that I need an ass pat, I need to be told that I'm wanted that I'm loved. And they are falling all over themselves to give her the attention she wants. I would never expect anybody to take my advice, but that's not gonna stop me from giving it. This is to all of Chantel subscribers, and especially to her very important beezers. I know you all want to support her but, what you're actually doing with your super chats, and your monthly membership fees, is giving money to an addict. An addict that has proven to you time and time again, that she can't tell the truth. You are helping support her cannabis habit, and God knows what else. If you truly care for her, you would cancel your membership, and you would stop giving her super chats. By doing that you're not enabling her to continue with a bad behavior. I'm not telling you to stop watching her videos. I'm just telling you that by not giving her super chats and membership fees the income she earns would be from her watch time only. Which brings me to something that I thought would never happen involving Chantel. During some downtime, I went to go watch some videos, and in the recommended feed was a video by an individual named Purple Glitter. The title of her video is, Dear Foodie Beauty, Here's Why I Left Your Members Only. Purple Glitter. I was blown away watching this video. I will tell you that Purple Glitter said this is her very first video, and she's learning, and she wants to do more. So I say we should help her, and give her the encouragement she needs. I will put a link to her channel in the description below, and encourage you to all go over watch her video, give her a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell for notifications of any future videos she may put out. Well guys that's it for our reaction, I don't really have much more to say to you all, other than... Nashville <laughs> <sighs> chicken. Grub time.
from you guys. Good night. Bye. Thank you all for watching our video. Please like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of new videos. Take care, and we will see you all in the next video.